Welcome back to my channel, trying recipes to conquer. I'm so happy that I'm actually get to be on camera here. Um, I got a nice little stand here with the light and everything so I can actually be seen. I like that. So um, today I'm going to be trying a cast iron ribeye steak bone in. I'm going to be doing a recipe by Gordon Ramsay. So hopefully I do a good job. It's going to be on um, this cast iron here. I already have it heating up. I have some mashed potatoes boiling because I'm going to be having it with um, cream cheese chive mashed potatoes. But yeah, so the pan has to be super, super hot. And I did take out the steak. It's been sitting room temperature for 20 minutes. That's, he does something that he suggested, which is something I did not know to do. So that's new for me. Like how beautiful it is. So I cannot wait. All right, so let's get started. All right, so first things first. So this thing is getting super, super hot. Like, I don't know if you watched my um, previous steak ones that I've done. I uh, definitely either burned it, overcooked it, or I um, undercooked it. So <laughs> I'm hoping that with following Chef Ramsey's suggestions, I do a good job. All right, so first things first, I can tell that my pan is super hot, so it's ready to go. He wants to start, he's supposed to start off by seasoning the pan or plate or whatever it is that you're going to be putting this thing on. Put the salt. Oh yeah, I should have done that first thing, but I didn't. So, all right, so. All right, so we got that. Make sure it's seasoned real well. Put this here on low. Right. Plain, plain, simple uh, seasoning, salt, and pepper. You get the sides here. And look how nice this piece of meat is. Like, oh my god. that most of these like um, big kind of chefs use so I'm using it. So yeah, it's definitely hot. So I can see the steam rising, I can even smell it. So I'm like, yeah, that's that's super hot now. So a little bit of olive oil. And then you want to, to lift the pan up a little bit, make sure that pan is nicely coated. All right, and then one thing he um, kept mentioning as well is to make sure you throw in the steak away from you always. So that's only really not because of the splash. So. Okay, all right. I got a smoke so much on my like, oh. All right, so three minutes and then I'll check it. It's a pretty thick cut of meat. Yeah, that's like smoking so much. I'm like, I hope I don't like it. <laughs> All right, so I have my butter here. It's about three tablespoons. I have some thyme and I have some garlic. I want us to smash the garlic. Not necessarily cut them, so we can potato mash for the job. for about a minute so far. Let me check it. Oh, look at that. It's already, um, I'm going to flip it. His suggestion was also to flip it every minute if you didn't cook it. I like to time things out with my uh, kitchen timer. After one minute on this cast iron pan, look how nice that that crust on that steak is, right? Wow. <laughs> it's 
this kitchen is so smoky right now. My goodness. But it's worth it, guys. Alright, so it's been in a minute. Check that. I think it's got a nice truck as well. Let's go on that side. That's that fatty side. I did want you to also lift it. Make sure you get the side as well. Hold it here for a minute, I guess so. One thing they're saying about is making sure to render that fat. So I'm going to go ahead and let it rest. 
on this cutting board here for five minutes. It's looking pretty good. It smells good. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, it's time to try it. It has been resting for about seven minutes. So I am going to cut a nice little piece. Look at that. Actually, it's quite perfect. I thought it was going to be like well done, but no, it's not. That's like medium, right? Still pink. But then there's still like a nice, um, you know, char. Let's put it on the Mmm. Oh. Robot Oh man. I think I did it, guys. Don't worry, I'm gonna turn into a mega robot dryer. Oh my. Whoa. Mmm. Whoa. That is delicious. Wow. All right, well, I'm about to serve this up with some cream cheese and chive mashed potatoes. Till next time, guys, thank you so much for watching.